Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we have on the bar top Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A122, the very first barrel proof release from Elijah Craig for 2022. I'm really, really looking forward to digging into this one and see what they have in store for us. As you can also see on the bar top, I have three SLB Glen Cairns lined up here. If you're looking for uh, the SLB Glen Cairns, we have shirts. Trenton actually is behind the camera wearing a crew neck SLB. Michelle's on my left. She's wearing her hoodie SLB. We got a lot of cool stuff in the merch store. Trenton will have the link in the description, right Trenton? The link will be in the description for the merch store. These Glen Cairns are super cool. It's got our SLB drinks logo right on them. They're super neat. But I have three on the bar top tonight, so it'll be myself, it'll be Trenton, and it'll be Michelle taking a look at this brand new Elijah Craig Barrel Proof release. Before we get into the tasting, let me just take a minute to tell you a little bit about this bottle. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A122 will cost you about 70 bucks and it comes in at 120.8 proof. This is Elijah Craig's first barrel proof bourbon batch for 2022 and marks the 10th anniversary for this expression from Heaven Hill. It is an uncut, unfiltered, straight bourbon which is aged for 12 years in new charred American oak barrels. Man, I just get excited when I even when I'm even reading that intro for this bottle. Am I right, Trent? Uncut, unfiltered, barrel proof, which tells you there's gonna should be some really nice flavors in this bad boy. So let's check it out. Trenton, that's yours, sir. Michelle, be yours. This one is mine. So let's see what we got on the nose here real quick. It's a pretty nice nose. I've got some vanilla and some dark cherries. We got Trenton. Same thing. Don't tell me sweet tarts. Whatever you do. Sweet tarts? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I got like a sour or something. Like a sour note. Do you? Like a sour fat kid almost. Oh, it's like a string knit maybe? Uh, Trenton is famous for this kind of stuff. Amazing. <laughs> like compared to candy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Trenton loves candy, so he's always comparing it to candy. Michelle, what do you got? Definitely vanilla. Yeah, definitely vanilla. Yeah. Real nice vanilla in there. Um, I really got, I really get a dark cherry out of there, and maybe a hint of cola or something like that, like a hint of some kind of a yeah. cola. Like cherry something. coke. Cherry coke, perfect. Like a cherry coke float. Yeah, no, perfect. Honestly, that is true. Really nice. Cheers, man. That's pretty nice. That's pretty decent. Now, now here's, here's part of the problem that I find. My favorite, my personal favorite Elijah Craig Barrel Proof releases has been C919 and B520. For me personally, and this is my own personal palate, but for me personally, C919 would be my favorite and B520 would be right behind it. And to me, those were just phenomenal. They were just, they were just outstanding releases back then. We we're getting them for what was it back then? Trend sixty bucks, something like that. Just twelve year um, barrel proof, uncut, unfiltered, sixty bucks, and they were just outstanding. Now, my personal opinion with the Elijah Craig barrel proofs, that in my it, it's hard for because they kind of painted themselves into a corner with a couple of those releases being so good. We all, including myself, want to measure up to those favorite releases. So in my brain, I have those in my mind. So in this one, I'm thinking, and to be honest with you, it's really, really good. I got, I got, I got some, some beautiful caramel and vanilla sweetness there right up front. That's what I get, guys, right up front. It's got some heat, so I get a little black pepper. Uh, I want to take another sip to get some more, but in my opinion, does it measure up to C919 and B520? No, not really. 
But is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing, Trent? No. I don't think so. Because it's really, really good. What did you get, buddy? How much do you like this sip? better than the releases last year? No, that's a good question. We get one more sip. That's an excellent question. To, to answer your question, my personal opinion is I felt a good part of last year's releases fell pretty flat. I feel personally this one is a bit better than last year's releases. That's just my humble All opinion. Them. All of them. That's my humble opinion. I just, those la last year, and, and, and I'm gonna rephrase myself again. They're all, they're all pretty darn good. I personally feel that this one is, is a step above last year's releases. Now, again, does it, does it get to the point to where it's my, you know, the Pinnacles, my C919 that I bought three of to make sure I had some? And the B520? No, not really, but that, it's still really, really good. Michelle, what's your thoughts? I don't think it's bad, but I wouldn't select it. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I know the nose isn't gonna match the palette every time, but getting more on the nose that I wish I would be getting in the palette. That's an excellent point, really, because other than the vanilla that comes through on the palette, I don't really, I, I don't get that cherry note that you get on the nose. You're right. I didn't even think about that. That's why Michelle is so great in these things. She's got a real sensitive palate and nosing. Trent, he just, he just smells, you know, Sour Patch Kids. I, I don't know. But anyways, you're 100% correct because I don't get that dark cherry either. To be honest with you, I get a lot of sweetness right up front of the palate. Now, Trent, follow me here and see if you get this because Trent and I usually... It's weird because Michelle and I are, are kind of on the same page and we get each other a little bit. Trent and I, I, I don't, you know, a lot of times we just don't get each other sometimes, you know? So listen to what I got to say and see what you think about it, Trent. Because for me, I get a lot of sweetness up front with the vanilla and caramel up front. Then I get hit with like a black pepper thing because of the heat stuff, which is good. I like that. I do. On the back end now, on that second or third sip, I get just a touch of maybe like a leather or something in there. I thought like tobacco or something. Tobacco, yeah, tobacco, leather. Now, I know you heard me before say, oh, leather, leather, hit me with some more leather or whatever. But this to me is a very well balanced tobacco and leather, kind of. But it tends to it tends to, to drop off there on the back end with that. I think it's 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 fairly well balanced. But I, I really do love the, the initial palette and then the black pepper. But I feel with the leather and and, um, and whatever, it's just, okay, I'm, I'm getting thrown off. What, are you going to taste it? I am. I'm, <laughs> I'm, seeing this behind, I'm seeing this behind the camera and, and my wife stood up, my lovely wife Rebecca, and she asked for the glass from Michelle. So this ought to be... I Just, do like the nose. <laughs> so you you do like come around here real quick, honey. She's around by the couch. That's why you kept she, looking me in this direction because I'm sitting over here. Yeah. You know, I gotta look at my wife. She's my eye candy. But so it smells good. It smells good, doesn't it? Now, I'm not one that says what you all are smelling because I don't really But it's got a nice sweetness <laughs> no, to it, does. doesn't it? I mean Kind of scares me when you say tobacco and leather because that's not really something <laughs> that I wish to ingest. But. Now my wife really drinks like zero bourbon. If if she has any bourbon, it's a little bit of bourbon in a cocktail, but that's about it. So she just took a sip, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting all the faces. I'm getting it. Now it's pretty hot. It's 120 proof, which you're really not used to. She likes real sissy cocktails and foo foo cocktails and things like that. You're not into high proof cocktails. No. You're not into high ABV, ABV cocktails, nothing no. like that. It's not your thing. And that's all good. But now that you had a little sip of it, can you taste anything from it? Gasoline. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol. Try another one. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> well, leave it to my wife to have the tasting notes of alcohol. No, Probably rubbing not. alcohol and gasoline. <laughs> She took one more sip. This is surprising, really. You still got nothing? Yeah, can no. you get? Can you get it in the front? Can you get a little bit of that? A little bit of vanilla caramel thing going on at all at the beginning? I <laughs> I agree with Michelle when she said the yes. nose, you know, is 
Which was you kind of yeah. expect a little bit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I got you know. nothing on the palate that I smelled <laughs> when I first took it. And you know the cool. It smelled really good. It did, and Michelle made an excellent point, which I wouldn't even have brought up because it didn't dawn on me. The nose is really top shelf, is it, mm -hmm. Michelle? Do you think? I, I really love it. Yeah, the nose is top shelf. It really is. It's really got some good stuff going on, but the nose doesn't relate to the palate very well. So, excellent point on her end. I get you there with that, honey. Did you get a, at least tell me? Did you get a little vanilla or caramel at the beginning? Don't worry about the gasoline and the rubbing alcohol at the end that you got when you swallowed it. But did you get anything? I got nothing. Okay, that's all right. So don't use you my <laughs> opinion when purchasing or not purchasing I I, this product. I love you anyways. I love you anyways, and I love you for trying it. That was awesome. It just it took me it took me off guard. So I love that. So anyways, let's wrap up. We got to get this done. Hey. I really liked it. Now, is it worth the money? It was 70 bucks. Trenton, what do you think? Is it I worth 70 it. bucks? Heck yeah. I think so too. Michelle, it's not really her bag, so she's giving me that. Eh, I don't know. But for me and Trenton, $70 I think is a good buy for a really good, decent bourbon here. Is it quite as good as my favorites? No. Is it a little bit better than last year's? I think so. So check it out. Try it for your own. Do me a big favor. Let me know in the comments what you think about this current release from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Thanks so much for watching tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you. I had a good time. My wife tasted bourbon. Woo! Part in the house. It's a good time. Thanks so much again. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>